Hello, this is Dalen 75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Duchy of Franconia within the West Franconian Empire. I plan to make Germany my own one day, although it might be a generation or two or three. Uh, if we go by my last two playthroughs, I probably had my own... I was probably independent by 800, 18, 815. Uh, Charlemagne has to die. He did. He died like probably around 8, 8, 780 in my last game, but... The first time, I think you pass away around 815, 820. And when that happens, you're free to go about and do what you want. Well, at least I am. Um, I can do it right now if I want. You can do whatever you want. There's a lot of choices in this game. I just, I'd like to play it safer. I want to see uh, there be a less able king in West Francia. Charlemagne is really good. And uh, also, I want to, ha if I can, have my sons educated by Charlemagne. He's really, really good. Did any of my sons get... Oh, none of them picked up my genius trait. Fate smile. Okay, she's pregnant. Hopefully it's a daughter. Hey, let's deal with these Saxons, guys. Come on. Well, we are winning the war. Yeah, they're fighting the main Saxon army. So, uh, yeah, uh, an empire like this should be able to raise a lot more, but they just keep taking, well, attrition and then losses in the war. They lost against Bavaria and Lombardy joined in against us. Uh, thankfully, these are not my own personal troops, but I think that there's a s certain amount of soldiers. Like, when he raises forces, you'll see a certain few hundred soldiers come out of your territory. Uh, I don't think that's actually taken from this amount. I'm not sure how that's calculated. It's a little strange. It's strange having a liege. Now, we'll get more soldiers with uh, when people within my empire have... Um, He's not doing anything. Research cultural tech. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put him here in the mains. At least he's doing something. He wasn't doing anything before. Okay, we're fighting uh, allies of Saxony. And they beat him. But it's almost 50% war score. It's just it's going to take a little while. I just, I just want these guys out of here. My money. How much money am I making? Two... 2.46 a month. It's terrible. It's god awful. I don't know how I did it with this. Yeah, they're back in plowing again, so... I mean, we are considered their enemy. Also, their war score, you gotta take these, these things out, Charlene. Helps reduce, because they're also gaining a bit of war score. When you take counties from somebody, or even just a couple of... Um, Holdings, the war score will go up like every month. It'll go like like, like one or something. I think it's a point amount, like point two per holding you hold. It'll go up. Ah, oh, another son, Galteri. That sounds Italian, actually. Okay, so his little force is holding him. They're going in, and they got him. Little, see that they should really should. I mean, the AI in general is good at putting them all together, but I just noticed with Charlemagne, maybe it's because the Empire is so large, they just tend to all flood up to a certain area and then they get caught by the enemy army. Kind of irritating. So this war is nearly won. I don't think that they have any force that can oppose us. Um, we almost have a thousand soldiers from our own, our own levies. And we have over 200 from uh, our vassals. I think we're good enough. I'd like to see a thousand complete. <laughs> Two soldiers more. 995. Come on, that should be one month. And this should be a really short war if we can get it over with. And we'll actually have. I'll have another place of my own. Lords of Franconia have improved the institution of low centralization law. Very good. So I can have up to five domain size. I mean, my king is 50. Sorry, my duke is 52. So. He is getting a little bit old. Keep that in mind. Uh, can't, it, the other thing is, like, they have what's called centralization. This is gone when, when I played in the last DLC. Um, so there's low... All it does is increase your domain size, but you have a vassal limit up here. So I have four of 19. So four vassals beneath me. The way to uh, get decrease that number, because once you go over 19, you, you say... Um, how many indicates how many direct vassals you can have 
at count tier or higher. Having too many direct vassals will negatively affect the amount of taxes and levies you get from your vassals, and you might lose the grip of your vassals upon death. Yeah, that's not good at all. Uh, you create dukes of your own duchies and assign other people to it, and once you become an empire, I guess you'll have no choice but to assign kings and you'll be the emperor. Yeah. Kings are, I don't know how, how they work, because in the game that I played, the one game, the last one, um, I had a king, and he was doing all his own independent wars. I even had dukes doing their own independent wars, taking territory that I never asked for, all over Europe. One day at the market, a strange man comes up to you and offers to sell you what he swears is a finger of St. John the Baptist. You look at it carefully, and it does indeed seem to be a set of old human bones. Hmm. Well, holy relic. This can be anyone's fing finger. Um, you can become cynical doing that. I'm going to go... You have the... Okay, so I spend 10 gold, I gain a holy relic, so 0.2 piety a, a month till the end of the game. I think that this saves, gets saved. It's a holy relic we just bought. It gets saved, it gets passed on to my kids, I think. So it's more piety. Well, I'm losing piety from being lustful. I didn't know you actually lost piety doing that. But owning a holy relic basically takes care of it. Now, these idiots are back again. Oh, uh, whoa. Weimar. Are they rebelling? Hostile? Are there any... Yeah, oh, kind of like a civil war. It would be nice if I can get my forces in there, actually. Well, I'm sure we can do it now. 998, why is that going so slow? Anyhow, let's do it. We have an army that's strong, so it's a, a child here. Declare war. Claim Thuringen. Thuringen? I'm just going to call it Thuringen. So he, his vassal is going to be there. Oh, crud. That's just 18 guys, not a big deal. Yeah, we lost all 18. He's in mains. It's one of my vassals. Uh, I'm going to target this guy, though. Yeah, that's the main threat to me. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, I also noticed that sometimes, like, when you raise vassals, especially mercenary armies, they take forever to move to the next province. Oh, this guy's not very good. They take a long time, basically, that's what I'm saying. Uh, this guy's 12. Do we have anything? Well, there's me. No. Why, why can't I lead this? Oh, because I'm fighting for the king. Okay. That would be why. So 12 and 11 is the... 15, 12, and 11 for leadership is the best we can do. So his, his vassals forces. And we are seemingly kicking total butt. Okay. That was a good fight, 54% right away. Uh, his vassals force is coming towards us. I think that they're going south. Yeah, right to my capital. The city's been constructed in Rome. That's the second city. It'd be nice to have that much money. Hey, this has gone very well. 69%. Are they both going to plowing? Okay, I guess we're waiting our turn. And we're fight we're not fighting against this guy, Thuringen. We're fighting against uh I think it's the Saxony. Or not Saxony, these guys, who are they? Pomerania? Sorbia is the actual name of the place. So these guys are going to Würzburg. Let's try to take them out. Everything's going well. All these wars are being won. All the wars. Okay, well one war just finished. I think it was the war with the Saxons, so we don't have to worry about those idiots anymore. 73%, uh, so we'll just have to take one county. I'd love to be able to take Weimar, actually. But my... I don't think I can because my forces are not, uh, they're already raised, so when that happens you can't declare war on somebody. So he's sending in a lot of guys into Sorbia, so we'll finish them off. We actually, didn't we not have a prisoner? I don't know, because we're not the king. We have a prisoner. Might be able to get money from him, no? Well, who is he? He's Slavic, he's from Sorbia. If they can't pay for him, I'm just going to execute him. Goodbye. That's what I do to heathens. <laughs> to 
can't pay, you're going to get your head chopped off. Unless, you, if you're a man. If you're a woman or a child, then no. So, yeah, that is actually kind of sexist. <laughs> but still. But you know why? Actually, it makes per it's sexist, but it also makes perfect sense. Because I caught him in battle. He is a leader, right? So why do I want to give a leader to the enemy? Let them suffer a loss. Because you can't be a female. What's going on? That's buggy. One of Charlemagne's armies. That's driving me crazy. It keeps flashing in and out. I don't know if it has to do with me sieging a vassal. Okay, it looks like it's fixed now. <laughs> Kept on flashing in and out. This is a Sorbian army coming up. I think all we'll have to do is take one place, and then we're good. And I don't want... He's doing it in the next territory, too. Jesus. You, you know, another thing I really like about playing, like, a uh, Christian from the center of, of Europe, especially like a German. Um, like the cavalry, the, hev the heavily armed cavalry, heavy cavalry, looks awesome. The, the uh, little guy, 3D guy running around. This, this is okay. This is what they actually looked like in, they call it early medieval period in the 770s, but you know what, that's not what I've been taught. Medieval period didn't really begin until between 9 and 10, 900 and uh, 1000 AD. Charlemagne kind of, with what he did at the time, I still consider it the Dark Ages. He cut, his, his efforts went to lifting the, the Europe from the um, Europe from the Dark Ages, but I know it's very. It, it, it's not only European, but it's all it's basically Western European viewpoint from here to the West, basically, um, and and even north, including these guys. This would. When they called it the Dark Ages, they mean that this place, the Roman Empire basically was dissolved, there was what, barbarians everywhere, but, you know, Christianity was under threat. It's very Christian-centric as well. My beloved wife, Geberger, is constantly bored and keep talking about the new fashion she has heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. Okay, well, gotta keep her happy. Uh, oh, zealous? Vanity is sin. Let's go to the church instead. Oh, we both gained zealous. That's a really nice trait. I'd like to, if I can, pass that on. Yeah, that increased my uh, marshal by two. So whatever I can, I can increase my marshal. Uh -oh, everything is ten and above. That's really good. Actually, this is a really good leader. I wish I could have had him when he was 16. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So 84%, I thought we would get 100%. I guess not keep on sieging their territories. So this war has been concluded. What is this? Why is this flashing? Oh, you know why? I'll bet you he joined against me. That's another place I want to take out in the future. Um, now that I think of it, this guy's not doing anything. Let's put him over here in Plowen. It's the next place I want to take. This Plowen is actually uh, the Duchy of Saxony. I think it gets Weimar, Anhalt, and Altmark. I think it's like all here. I'm not sure if it's here. Actually, Altmark and Brandenburg are one. That's uh, Brandenburg. Duchy of Brandenburg. I think they get Weimar and Halt and Plauen. Thuringen, I think, is mo uh, not mine, but the next duchy up, which I like to take for myself. It's here, Gottingen, Nassau, and Thuringen. So I, I'll have six of my own. This is... I can't do anything about it because it's a church at the top. I freaking hate that, actually. Uh, in my last game, it was really, not only was it bone because the whole East was one uh, Slavic empire, literally, as almost on par with the freaking Byzantines, uh, but the papacy had somehow gone north, taken over all of Saxony, and they were putting churches at the top. And of course, they have tons of money because they're getting money from all over Europe. So they had money to put, like, this was a church, this is a church, this is a church at the top, and another one was a church. I'm like, geez, man. And so I actually went to war against them when, once I had Franconia all here. Um, I went to war and was slowly eating them away and I got them down to one province. And then to take that one county, I went all the way down here because I had sieged it. There were, I couldn't find their army. I went down to Rome. Actually, Rome would have been taken by the Lombards. I went here. It was like Ortevel. This is also, uh, yeah, Papacy again. I went to here. Their only other county in the entire game. So... As I took the first place, the first holding, 
Lombardy just took the rest of the county from them, almost like they revoked it. So this was no longer a papacy, there was only one place left. So every time I went to invade here, they magically came up with nearly, like, it was like 4,800 soldiers, a lot of heavy infantry, and a lot of other good soldiers. Every time, even when I defeated it, give it two months, it, another one would appear. I was like, gee, I didn't have the manpower to keep going. It was ridiculous. I could not take this one last spot. And I, so I left it. I'm thinking years later, I'll leave it. But then I kept on dealing with uh, the Slavics to the east. And yeah, headache inducing. That's how it is being in the center of Europe. Uh, you have to watch your back to other Christians to the west, to the south. Uh, to the east, you have to watch the Slavics. To the north, you kind of, they haven't been much of an issue, the Germanic tribes. Uh, made the Middle Kingdom, Fra uh, Middle Francia is primary title, so it's going to turn a different color. Yeah, so this is what happened before. I don't know why they do it. Why did they do that? That's what happened in my last game, I think. So, factions. Once we build up our army, once Charlemagne is dead, he's just 34. It's going to be quite a few years, unless he dies by accident. Oh, he made Prince... Uh, King of West Francia is primary title. I don't know if he suffers a penalty from doing that or a, a cost. This should change again. Okay, so we took th another holding. This war is concluded. Do I get money from it? No, I just get prestige. I, I don't like this bluish gray color. It's not very nice, in my opinion. So uh, I've directly taken this. This is now mine. And I think it's... No, it's not... Well, well, it might be wealthier than mine. I think it is a little bit wealthier. It's just that because I've, I've kind of sacked these places that they don't have money anymore. So let's disband. Can I pay for anything that will bring in money to me? Castle walls. Yes, this does. It's, it's a little bit, but it's worth it. Every little bit you can just start taking it away. This guy... Yeah, back to the better color. I don't like to revoke counties, but now that we're limited, I think I can. And... Yeah, let's take Leningen. Yeah. It, it's gonna give, give me a malice with my guys, so you can't just start start taking them all. Well, I guess you can if you're small enough. I can start taking them all. When I saw, I also want and, and Fells, I want as well. Uh, this is part of another duchy. Eventually, I'll be giving it up. But if he refuses, I'm gonna have to go to war with him. So we might go to war and see what his reply is. He humbly accepts. Okay. So, uh, he was my marshal, unfortunately. But here, this guy's 15. He's pretty good for such a small place. Let's leave him there. Yeah, he is... Ooh, 2,000. Well, we just basically doubled the size. Double our size. Two domains now. My income should be better. Yeah, it's 330. So, 37, 29, 32... Uh, and Würzburg's my capital. If I build new holdings in the future, like another city and another um, castle, yeah. And you start decking them all out. Like I had mine uh, completely decked out. It was awesome. How much income I was bringing in Würzburg. It was like 99 when you put in the uh, <coughs> the Stuart there. 99 per year. Uh, obviously, you don't get that total amount, but that's the total amount of money that the uh, county generates. So this is what you get. You get 12.1. Uh, That's divided by 12. So it's one just coming from Würzburg. It's almost it, almost a third of my entire income. This place is not capped out yet. So it's 6.6. .6. Leningen is 9.7. I don't have Nassau yet. And Bamberg is oh 36. This is more than my oh no it's not 10.6. Okay. So yeah, that goes to show you where you got all your income from. My son. So he's got diligent trait. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a good place to start. Uh, I'd like to educate him myself, but... I don't think that that's a great idea. Uh, so, to do what I want to do... What, what is Charlemagne? Oh, he... Oh. He wants this guy to educate him. But you know, he's not very good at all. He's arbitrary. But what I can do is I can approach him. He has a daughter. Very nice, very nice. Oh, bastard, craven, deceitful. 
You know what? Uh, I, you know, some, I'm gonna arrange marriage. I'm gonna try it. Oh, arrange betrothal. Let's go. Where's his eldest daughter? Well, it'll come up. I don't want to marry him to Lambert. I'm gonna try with my other son Bertrand. He's four. Yeah, okay, I'm Andrew. Yeah, very nice. Um, yeah, so it actually marries us into the house. But I also want... Would have may have been better. I'm going to save my son. <coughs> Educate. He's waiting for me. I can save my son to marry him off to some other woman. Uh, maybe Charlemagne will have another daughter. But that first daughter is not very good. So he accepted the marriage. Educate child. If he could do it himself... No, I want him. Where's Charlemagne? Uh, he's already educating too. Won't, won't work then. Yeah, so if that being the case, I want to educate my son. Educate child. Guy, out of... It's kind of weird having some foreigner. Some, some guy who's not very good too. Educate him. Now, I want to see... I hope that didn't... Foreigner. He looks at me like a foreigner. He's French. So I thought he would have been Frankish before, I guess so. But uh, I think the time is up. Yeah, time's up. So I'm going to end the video, guys. And, uh, oh, 4.36. So it's nearly double what we had for income before. I'd like to see more than 10. Once you start getting over 10 per month, you can start actually using your money to really help. So thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you again.